They have their purpose. Oh, most of the time I hate them. <laughs> I mean, it's that simple. I think for the most part, they're a waste of my money. I think nowadays they're a little overpriced. Prices have been going up over the last five years at an astronomical rate. As the price goes up and as price of everything goes up, students increasingly feel that if you're using a textbook, textbook, the textbook, the textbooks, the textbooks, the textbook, students increasingly feel that if you're using a textbook, you must cover everything in the textbook. But actually, that's counterproductive because there's too much information in the textbook. And the only way you're ever going to know everything that's in that textbook is if you study it for the next four years. As a business major, I know I read my business textbooks, but as far as CCC classes, uh, I don't really look at them. The difficulty, and it's the same difficulty I had with the textbook when it was reading only, how do you get the students to do it? For my major, I read when I'm supposed to. Uh, for my core classes, when I was uh, underclass, or when I was a freshman or sophomore, I didn't read much because not only was I not too interested in them, but I also didn't feel a need to. I do consider pricing because I, I do remember what it's like to be a student, and um, every student likes to have a little spending money. I always consider price mainly because I, you know, I, being a student myself at one point in life, uh, the rule when I was uh, going through graduate school was I didn't want to have to spend more than $150 per course. If we can get things less expensive for the students, that's great. We would prefer to do that for them, certainly. Except for the textbooks I used in my major, which I actually have held on to. But other than that, I think they're a waste of my money. Well, I usually wait a couple weeks, see uh, if I'm going to need them or not. I know a lot of professors that don't use the textbooks. I have used them, yes. Some classes I do, some classes I don't. But recently, the last few years, I've gone on Amazon and bought my books because it's less money. Even though it's a little more work on my part, it saves me a bundle. If, if the textbook can augment discussions, then there's a purpose for it. If real life, you know, real life learning, real time learning is really the best way to go, then I try not to use textbook. There are some classes like um, critical analysis of journalism where I don't bother with a textbook because I figure that the internet, television, magazines, newspaper, all media is our textbook. The Higher Education Act uh, was started in 2008, was enacted last summer. And what that was is to help ensure that the students are getting the, uh, the best priced items, uh, course materials that, that they could possibly get. Has anything changed? Yeah, I think you've created greater inefficiencies. I think you've caused more hoops for professors to jump through and more ways for students to deny them. We need at least a month's lead time in order to uh, get all the data collected, get all the research done, and then we um, have to, all, that ent all the data entry has to be done by hand. Have we solved the problem? Oh, was that the point? <laughs> Not seeing it. We have an online site, SUNYFredoniaBookstore.com. And um, as I get my textbook orders in, we enter the data into our system and they go right to our website. I was not aware. I do know, I did, I was aware that I could find out what books I had through uh, Angel, and some teachers do, but I was not aware of that. I probably would have uh, had a better opportunity to order them through Amazon or uh, any other resources online because it would have gave me more time before the classes started. No, I did not. Um, kind of makes sense though. You figure that tech, the professors want to let you know what books are needed. Definitely wouldn't have changed my approach. I will often think in terms of, yeah, do you need the textbook? And then if I decide I need the textbook, does it have to be the latest edition? Once a new edition comes out, typically we can't get the old edition. You can get a used book or, or in the bookstore or on Amazon where it's a little less expensive, but it has the same information in it. That's one of the reasons I think why there's increasing online material because the online material kept, gives you a doorway through which you can't sell a used book. It's happening slowly, but there will be electronic versions of books. People will have readers of some sort. Sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah no, but the uh, problem is textbooks drive me crazy because right now I think they've become a really, really big industry and totally out of control of either education or professors.